Hi, welcome to Smart Home Sunday. My name is Paul. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Home Assistant is what I like to tinker with on a Sunday. And at the moment, I'm working with some high home plugs, some Tasmota firmware on this plug, an MQTT, and of course, Home Assistant. Now, my goal here on YouTube is to contribute something to the magic of the internet. There's so much rich information out there and there's some really smart people that put all this stuff together like those who invented Home Assistant. I'm not that smart. I take a basic look and I want to try and have a look at the basics of Home Assistant and MQTT today. And this is gonna be a three part Today we'll have a look, overview. Next week, we'll start configuring things in Home Assistant, and then the week after, we'll get everything working from the plug through to Home Assistant, and we'll be able to see it, hopefully at some point, in the energy dashboard, because that is the goal. If you're interested in that kind of thing, well, hit subscribe and follow along, because I'm gonna try and explain to you, as simply as I can, what MQTT is. If you want something more detailed, well, at the end of this video, I'll put a couple of links there that you can click on. They're also in the description below. And you can read some, uh, well, actually watch some amazing videos, much more detailed than what this one is. But I wanna try and explain very simply how MQTT works. Here we are. Now, here is my high home plug, and I have installed on it Taz Motor. Now, MQTT. What is it? Well, it's a protocol, uh, blah, 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 I don't care. Look, basically you've got this thing called an MQTT broker. You can kind of think of it as a fuzzy little cloud if you like, but it is actually a little machine. Now, broker, I don't know, broker, hmm, yeah, negotiating things, broking a deal. I like the description on Wikipedia that says, it's like the post office. That's quite nice, because what you can have, for example, is home assistants saying, hey, post office, I would like to hear when anything happens to a plug named Fred. So this plug over here is gonna be called Fred. Great, there's Fred. <laughs> now, Tesmoda is firmware on the high home plug, which can talk uh, using the MQTT protocol. So. Tasmota plug can check in to the post office and can say, hey, Fred here, I'm gonna deliver messages to you if you like, and it will do things like, for example, say, I'm now on, I'm now off. And when that message comes into the broker, the post office, the post office says, hey, home assistant wanted to know these messages, and so it forwards them on. So Fred, the plug, says, I've just turned on the MQTT broker, the post office forwards that message on to Home Assistant to say, plug on. That's it. I, mean, I could stop there. That's as simple as MQTT is. What makes it perhaps a little more confusing in Home Assistant is there are two parts to Home Assistant that require MQTT setup. Well, I mean, really there's just one. You see, with Home Assistant, you need to install a an integration so that Home Assistant can use MQTT to talk to a post office or an MQTT broker. But of course, because it's Home Assistant and you can run absolutely everything and anything on Home Assistant, you can run an MQTT broker on Home Assistant. So we could shove in here also a broker, right? One of those. Da, 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 da. So what you would have is a MQTT broker add-on running in Home Assistant and the MQTT integration. Right, there we go. Beautiful. This is why you're subscribed. You want to see these amazing pictures, don't you? Great. Now, let's go into Home Assistant though, and I'll actually show you what this means. I'm not going to install it. We'll do that next week. But if I go down to configuration and I have a look here in add-ons. Now in add-ons, add on, and I type in MQTT. Straight away, you can see here the mosquito broker. That's the post office. So you can click on this official add-on and install in the Home Assistant an MQTT broker, post office. And then just so happens to be that you've got this broker running on Home Assistant, right? 
and all your devices can talk to it, the post office. But what you do need, however, is just because you're running a broker on Home Assistant, it doesn't mean that Home Assistant can talk to that broker. You need to install an integration. So let's go back to configuration, go to devices and services, now add an integration, and now in here, MQTT. And there it is, there's the integration. So what you're going to need is at least this one, MQTT, so that Home Assistant can talk MQTT languages and talk to post offices. And then if you want, you can also install in Home Assistant an MQTT broker. Does that make sense? Two things, same protocol, but two very different things. And both of them I'm gonna install next week in Home Assistant and we'll get ourselves a step closer to connecting this TAS motor flashed high home plug talking to Home Assistant. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. I'll see you next time. Smart Home Sunday. Every Sunday. I mean, when else would you expect it? A Smart Home Sunday on a Saturday? No. Ah, but there is a Tuesday. Tech Tuesday. Everyone has to have a Tech Tuesday. And I do too. I'll do some tinkering on Tuesday. Not Home Assistant, but something very similar. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Oh, those links. There, 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 there. Oh, they're in the description. Bye-bye.